It is powerful, very powerful. Amen. All my life you have been faithful. All my life you have been so, so good. With every prayer that I am able, I will sing of the goodness of God. Second Corinthians 2.14, the Bible says, Now thanks be to God, who always leads us in triumph in Christ, and through us diffuses the fragrance of his knowledge in every place. Part one of that scripture, in the Atukuzo Bwana Amba Hutuongoza Katika Ushindi. Nasema Bwana Atakuongoza Katika Ushindi. Inuwa mkono jupokea hine, nasema the Lord will lead you into triumph. In the name of Jesus, tunapoingia na tunaendelea na mwezi wa pili, we declare we shall move from triumph to triumph, from strength to strength, from victory to victory. Even as we enter the fifth week, we are entering with a new grace. Why God leads us in triumph in Jesus name. Now I cannot speak the word of God until you respond to that. Begin to declare, uh, the Lord is leading me from triumph to triumph. Through Christ, He's leading me. Zetepa de da doza, ratapi na leza di la boza, reprasita padaya la gita, zeteli madesa yo, kalazi da beta deza, rapaso katade, huniongoza, huniongoza, rama mama shika, huni linda, suinu emi konomeleza bana tangaza, He will lead me. Ananiongoz, he's leading me. Rakata, I feel, I feel in my spirit. There are people God is leading after this service. There is a battle you are overcoming in this service. The Lord will lead you into triumph. The Lord will lead you into triumph. Naske in my spirit, there are people who are facing battles. But after this word, in the name of Jesus, the Lord will lead you into triumph. The Lord will lead you into triumph. In the name of Jesus, you shall release fragrance in every place. You shall release fragrance in every place. In the name of Jesus, February is our month of strategy. And I declare in the name of Jesus, every plan, every strategy, every plan that you have, every plan that you lay down, it's a funny cure. Why? God leads us into triumph through Christ Jesus, we declare today in the name of Jesus. Una tuongoz. Reta pade da da boseka. Wata kupatika na watu in this house who know how to worship. Who know how to respond to the word. Who know how to grasp the promises of God. Zetete de da 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 mosa. Rakata pade da de da sela. Pokea victory. Receive victory. Receive victory. Walk in victory in the name of Jesus. Rete pade zete teda zakota rida rimaso de kushindwa is not your portion. Rekete beda. We give you praise. Zakota diba. Just speak in tongues. Zete teda. Switch now into the language of the Holy Ghost. Into the language of the Holy Ghost. Switch now. Connect. Connect. Zetetila deda, zatila mina lezode. It is God who leads you. Rite de tanana mosade, zabote tina madela bosa da 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 bo. Oh yes, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We worship you. Sunday de 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 bos. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I feel I have a prophetic word for someone in this service. Receive this word. Receive this word. 
that the Lord will lead you into triumph through Christ Jesus. Sadiba dalago de celia. Hallelujah. Uno goza unificia kam kono wa hakika ni cha hana. Mananai Christo ani omozani. Bwana tunakushukuru na tunakuabudu. Maana wewe ndio utuongoza katika ushindi. Nazungumza juu ya maisha watu hawa ya kwamba baada ya ibada hii you are leading them into triumph in the name of Jesus. Natangaza aibu haitapatikana kwa kambi zao. In Jesus name. Nafunga mlango mbaya ambao adui amefungwa kinyume na wao. Natangaza hakuna fedheha. Hakuna reproach. In the name of Jesus. Natangaza huondolewe kwa position yako. Where God has positioned you, I declare you are established in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare every plan that you lay before God this month he will lead you to triumph in the name of Jesus. We worship you and we bless you. Lord as we sit to hear from you speak to us in Jesus name we pray. Give Jesus a celebration in the name of Jesus. Let us celebrate the word of God as it comes. Receive the power that is in the word in advance in Jesus name. Amen. Amen and amen. Glory to God. Nasema asifiwe bwana Yesu. Mwangalie mtu mwambie sit in the heavenly places with Christ Jesus. You know as you sit on that seat, also sit in the heavenly places together with Christ Jesus. Take your seats in the presence of God. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise be to God. It is always a joy to share the word of God with us. Uh, my heart is at peace. Nashukuru bwana kwa sababu ya fadhili zake ambazo ni za milele. Bwana asifiwe. Nashukuru bwana kuwaona. It's a blessing for you to come. Najua bwana kuna neno kwa sababu yako katika jina la Yesu. Tunashukuru bwana kwa sababu ya kanisa ambalo liko online. Let's appreciate this church that is following us. Let's we can do better than that in Jesus name. Appreciate them. In the name of Jesus, I want us to go straight to the word of God. We've been sharing very powerfully on what God has laid in my heart. And you see, last week we were looking about the aspect of the Holy Spirit in the life of a believer. The aspect of the Holy Spirit. They said, just to do a little recap, uh, there are elements kuna vipenge vinatakana kuonekana katika maisha ya mumini na we said about fervency we look at perseverance boldness and now last week last sunday we were we, we studied about the holy spirit the holy spirit and we were looking at romans chapter 8 let's begin from there just do a little recap of a few minutes then we continue romans Chapter 8, verse number 26. If you'd be first uh, to be so good in the name of Jesus. Let me share some water with my interpreter. Lord bless you. Let's appreciate Nehemiah. She's doing a great job. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Thank you. This scripture says, Likewise, the Spirit also does what? All of you are not in the service. All right. Okay, guza naiba mwambia naiba rudi kwa church. Yes, kuna njia nyingi sana ya kujua nyinyi hamuko hapa. Okay. Likewise, the spirit also helps in our weakness. And we are looking at the aspect of the Holy Spirit helping you. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tulisema kazi ya Roho Mtakatifu si kutuombea. Kazi ya Roho Mtakatifu ni kutusaidia kuomba. 
Amen. So if you fold your hands and tell the Holy Spirit, pray for me, he will not pray for you. But as you pray, he will help you. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is not sent to do, the, to do our work. Roma takatifu ajatumu afanye kazi za wa Kristo. Ametumwa atusaidie. Nataka kusema tunapoingia wiki ya tano ya maombi, Roho Mtakatifu akusaidie. As you seek the Lord, may he empower you in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to God. And we looked at the disciples. They were assembled in one place. You know, Acts chapter 1 verse 13 and, and verse 14. Tuliangalia wanafunzi walikuwa assembled in one place. They continued with one accord in prayer and supplication and as they continued the spirit of god helped them in praying glory to god and so ile point kubwa sana tuliangalia wapendwa tulisema kwamba kazi ya roho mtakatifu sio ya kuomba bwana tukuzwe kazi ya roho ni kukusaidia sema kazi ya roho ni kunisaidia so if you want the holy spirit yeye huja kukupiga jeki anakutoa hapo na leo tutaingia ingia ndani tuoneshe ni kuoneshe how he helps believers in prayer now let's look at let, let's go back to and we are continuing from there Romans 8:26 Romans 8:26 now we really majored on the word help i want us to continue from there the bible says likewise the spirit also helps in our weakness the spirit does what helps us in our weakness roho hutusaidia katika udhaifu bwana sifiwe you know admitting before the holy ghost that you are not able to pray without his help is not a sign of weakness it is a sign of strength bwana sifiwe hebu nisikizeni when i'm before my juniors ni kuwa mbele ya juniors wangu i will show them i am strong are we together but when i go before my seniors i will show them i am weak so that they may help me the holy spirit is senior than you when you go to him usifungie udhaifu wako you need to get that revelation roho mtakatifu hawezi kusaidia mtu ambaye ako self sufficient Mtu ambaye anaona anaweza kila kitu. The spirit the Bible says he helps us in our weakness. A different version says he helps us in our infirmities. In our infirmities and I would love us use the word use that to define what infirmity is. Infirmity means our inability to produce results bwana yesu asifiwe inability to produce results your infirmity will keep you from producing prayer results it is the will of god for you to produce prayer results ni makusudi ya mungu nisikize sana mpaka unisikize na your heart wakati unaenda in your prayer closet wakati unakuja hapa in the morning in the lunch hour in the evening in your house when you kneel down kuna kitu bingu utarajia utarajia results are we together church number two, hata wewe huwa unatarajia results that after this prayer baada ya kuomba hili ombi nitapokea majibu baada ya kuomba ombi hili nitapokea breakthrough we all expect results but let me tell you without the holy spirit helping you you will never have results why we have weakness bwana asifiwe kuna udhaifu katika maombi kwa nini si udhaifu number one, prayer is a spiritual business We deal with the spiritual matters. We do spiritual transactions. We deal with, we deal with spiritual forces. Now we live in a body. Sasa kama roho hawezi kusaidia mtu aliyendani ya mwili, 
kukabiliana na hali za kiroho udhaifu utakuzuia this is why let me tell you why some of the times we come in prayer tunashindwa kuomba kwa sababu tunakuja na nguvu ya mwili tukitarajia kukabiliana na ro, na, 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 na hali ya kiroho bwana sifiwe look at me um, and I wish you would be very sincere umwaingia kwa prayer meeting umekuja kuomba ukarudi nyumbani let's talk yeah wasani kuangalia chini mimi nauliza umwahi kuja maombi mimi naenda kuomba lakini kile uliona ukachukua kabagi yako ama kasimu yako ukaenda have you ever had such an experience this is a reason ulikuja na mwili ukakutana na roho ulikuja ulileta mwili kanisani ukakutana na a spiritual force ukakutana na a spiritual resistance wacha nikusaidie next time ukija kwa maombi na ukutane na resistance usiende i'll tell you what to do switch from the body engage the spirit tell the spirit of god help me and you'll have breakthrough wana yesu asifiwe now in infamity moja tuko nao udhaifu moja tuko nao nataka kupatia leo na iko kwa hiyo scripture inasema we do not know what we should pray for i need to allow that to sink in your spirit one infirmity that each one of us has in your bodily form you do not know what to pray for number 2 you do not know how to pray as you ought give me your attention again i need to teach you these things mambo mbili huwa inatendeka unapoingia katika maombi number 1 how do you ta- utaomba ya nini number 2 how do you utaomba vipi let me tell you having a prayer list is not the way to know how to pray kujua kuomba ni kuwa na roho mtakatifu kanisa lisema amen hiyo scripture inasema we do not know what we should pray for as we ought that alone says you need knowledge in prayer i need to teach you allow allow the spirit of god to teach you this morning very powerful nuggets very powerful insights now that you do not know how you need the spirit of god to teach you how you need the spirit of god to teach you what to pray for amen now let me tell you anyone with the spirit of god akiingia in the prayer closet let me begin with you lahana ro akiingia kwa prayer closet ameingia hivi anaanza kujikuna kuna kichwa ya kiroho nitaombea nini anapiga raundi anaomba anajirudia anachoka anaketi ana walk out anaenda na anaenda akiraramika akijiuliza hii watu wanaombanga masaa kwani wanakuwa wanaombea nini mwajiulize hiyo swali unakuta hapa neighbor anatetemeka hivi ana vibrate maombi na wewe unagoga silin ikikurudia now yule mtu ambao huingia oh god yule mtu kama kuja na hiyo kitabu yako father we give you praise just stand there anyone who does not have the spirit of god we can agree number one, he does not know what and how to pray all right 
Sasa, every time you enter into your prayer closet, look at me very clearly. Patia attention yako. Nikupatia kitu itakusaidia kwa maombi. When you have the spirit of God in your life, every time you can get the prayer closet, you will meet the Holy Spirit waiting for you. Can I hear an amen? amen? Now, you will meet the Spirit of God. I'm using the no as the Spirit of God. He just looks like the Holy Spirit. He's very humble. Very smart. Number two, you will meet the Spirit of God. Amekungojean with what to pray for. Not just what, how to pray. Sasa, every time, and this is, this is deep, kila wakati unaingia ndani kwa wepo wa bwana, utakuta Holy Spirit, hako na prayer issues hapo. Hame kuambia, migwe, this is, we umekuja na yako, mwajua tunakuja na zetu, umekuja na zako hapo, babarusi, na ma prayer issues, nataka ni ombe hii, the Spirit hako ambia, uh-uh, not this one, this one, the Bible says, we do not know how to pray as we ought, but the Spirit himself makes intercession for us with the groanings which cannot be uttered. So, the Spirit of God helps you to pray according to the will of God. Yes. So, imagine a brother or a sister without the Holy Spirit. Every time I came in the presence of God, the Spirit of God is not there. So to what he does, anapiga watu maraundi peke yake kwa maombi. Anafanya kitu inaitwa monologue. Unajua kuna dialogue na monologue. Anaongea tu peke yake, rika na masekete debe. Akipiga watu macho. Lakini when you have the spirit of God if you he tells you what to pray for. He gives you company. He gives you intensity. He gives you fervency. The spirit of God sasa nataka kukuonesha how poor you can be without the spirit of god how shallow how shallow unajua kuna maombi shallow hii hii ujumbe mwezi rara kwa hii bana utalala aje is the spirit of god helping you to close eyes no rom takat haja ja ja Roho mtakatifu upatia mtu company kwa maombi. Anakusaidia how to pray. You see unaweza kuwa kuna jambo unaombea hapa. Natakuonesha kwa scriptures. Ro, Bible inasema hata wacha tuende kwa hiyo scripture kwanza. We give you praise Holy Spirit. First Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9. First Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9. First Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9. Look at this. This is huyu ni mimi nimekuja in the presence of God. There are things I want from God. And this is a promise. Ile Mungu ameahidi kwa sababu yangu. Look at this. It says, but as it is written, things which I saw not. And here, wait, my friend, hiyo kizungu ni mingi sana. Thou theest Okay, let's use this. As it is written, I has not seen nor ear heard nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has done what has prepared for those who love him. Now, you scripture to peke yake inakuonesha there are things that God has prepared for you. Lift up your hand and declare there are things that God has prepared for me. So every time unakuja kwa prayer closet, uko hapa. This is you. Are you seeing yourself? Mutaongea? Thank you very much. This is you here. Happened your prayer closet. Mali unaombeaga. There is a promise in your prayer closet in Asema. There are things that God has prepared for you. Even as you enter into prayer, there are things that God has prepared for you. Yeah. Let's go to verse 10. Verse 10. It says, ha, yeah, yeah, yeah. But God 
has revealed to us through his spirit. For the spirit does what? Searches all things. Yes, the deep things of God. Hallelujah. So, as you come into the presence of God, you see there is a song in the Bible, Zaman no Greek. Unajua yo baba jari takuita hapa uimbe sa hai. Wanaimbaka verse 9, wanasema, zile vitu ambazo, macho ijawai ona, masikio ijawai shikia, ijawai ikia kwa moyo wa mutu, iyo maneno mungu wa metu andalia uko pikuni, buwana sfiwe. When you walk in revelation, utajua, Singojai kuona vitu sijawahi kuona binguni. Singojai kuona yale sijawahi kuona binguni. Nitayaona hapa. Why God has revealed those things in verse 9 to me through his spirit. Sasa nikusema listen to me. When you have the spirit of God, you have revelation. Hallelujah. Listen, as we enter the fifth week, we will pray revelational prayers. Why? The Spirit of God is with us. Can you say amen? Bible in a sema, he searches. He does what? He searches all things. Then he says, Yes, uno mtu akiongea kwa conversation aweke yes. Anaweka emphasis. Anasema ni kweli. Anasema ndio. Anasema without a doubt. Deep things. Reka dasa. Listen. Yaani hakuna kitu mbaya kama kuwa shallow Christian. Shallow. Mwai wana mtu wanaomba na nakula bigiji. Uyo ni shallow sana. Shallow. By the way, kuna siku nilikuwa hapa viti ikiosua. Hey, watu wa mungu msikulanga bigiji kwa church. Wacha ni wacha hiyo wanena wa bigiji ni rudi kwa Holy Spirit. Roho mtakatifu husachi. Asa tafanya nini li mshika hii maneno. Unajua, searching means iso vitu ziko hidden. Unajua saa hii nineza kusachi mfuko na najua nineza toa ngiri. We? Room takatifu huwa ana search. Anatafuta zile deep things of God. Then he brings them to you. This is what anybody with the spirit of God. Huyo mtu anautofauti ya vile aliingia kwa maombi na vile anatoka. Why? Amepokea deep things of God by the spirit of God. Wana sifiwe. Now the good thing with, with the spirit of God. Kila mtu hapa anawezo wakujua level yake. Kama uko shalo shalo hata sahi ni kiubino sikia pasta hiyo neno inanihonga. Wacha ni kuhonga tu. Ili utoke kwa mambo shalo shalo. Listen. You don't make news by being shalo. Can, can anyone in this town a, a make news at a, a meenda hapa rupingasi ya kashika achura a apie kwa news. One pasta in embu caught a frog in Rupingasi. Hata hakuna mtu atakopea time. Akuhoji ati, hey, how was that frog? Eh, eh. But ukienda pale Rupingasi, brother Kebara, ushike huel, nyangumi. Watu wote watakuja wakuhoji. Eh, yani utafanjika celebrity overnight kwa sababu umeshika deep things. The spirit of God searches. He searches the deep things of God. Then he reveals them to us. Anybody with the spirit of God who anaugea deep things. Ebutu nile verse 11 ni koneshe. Verse 11. It says, 
For what man knows the things of man except the spirit of the man which is in him? Even so, no one knows the things of God except the spirit of God. Now listen to me. The spirit of God knows God. Are we together? Na huyo huyo roho anamfunua Mungu kwetu. Yule wale watu usema ati Mungu Hakuna mtu anaweza jua Mungu. Kuna watu walikuwa wanatutisha zamani usisome Biblia. Biblia ni msitu. Ukiingia utapoterea huko. Zamani kulikuwa na mzee mwingine alikuwa naomba huko kwetu. N- nilikuwa nilijua juzi huyo mzee hana revelation. Alikuwa naambia Bwana mimi najua wewe ni moto. Na ukikuja saa hii nitatoroka. When you have the spirit of God, you not run away. You will wait for him to reveal the deep things. The deep things of God. And I pray for you as you pray this week, may the spirit of God reveal. Roma takatifu akufunulie mambo ya ndani ya Mungu. Amina. Mtu wa roho hata shetani hawezi kumkabata. Akiingia pale with with ati ati hajui itakuwaaje. Akifika hapa anakuta the roho mtakatifu anaanza kumfunulia anamuonesha hivi tapigana hivi hii hali kabiliana hivi hii maombi omba hivi the spirit of god searches and reveals bana tukoza sana look at verse 12 we we'll go back to romans again inasema now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit who is from god that we may know i love this that we may know the things that have been freely given to us by god hallelujah we have received the spirit that comes from god why there are things that are, has been given to us freely you see enya kukosa roho ni kazi gumu sana ukiwa na roho kuna vitu utaombea why they are freely given by god are you listening to me kuna vitu mungu amekupatia freely by his spirit how do you access them by his spirit hallelujah let's continue kidogo Pastatin these things we also speak not in words which man's which man's wisdom or which is man's wisdom teaches but which the holy spirit teaches comparing spiritual things with the spiritual this is why and this is the principle mimi natumia as a servant of god nikiona mtu ana doubt what god has revealed to me i am able to understand this person is cano Why spiritual things are compared with spiritual things. Mtu wa mwili hawezi kuelewa mambo ya roho. Hawezi kabisa. Mtu wa mwili hawezi pokea mambo ya ni magumu sana kwake. Mambo ya roho wapendwa haelewekagi na hii kichwa. Hayawezi. Bwana atukuzwe sana. Hallelujah. Verse 14. But the natural man, actually I already mentioned this, does not receive the things of the spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him. Nor can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. Mtu wa mwili hawezi pokea mambo ya roho. This is why mtu wa mwili anaulizaga. Hawa watu bwana wanalia hivi. Mtu wa mwili Lazima mulie kwa maombi. Huyo ni mtu wa mwili. Lazima 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 mtu wa mwili. Lakini mtu wa roho anajua they are spiritually discerned. They are foolishness to him. I'm telling you mambo ya roho yote ni upuzi kwa watu wa mwili. Bwana asifiwe. Glory to God. Mtu wa mwili hawezi pokea mambo ya roho. Sikizeni timing ya Mungu 
ya roho na timing ya mtu wa mwili aziandamanagi any time bana tukoze sana take your seat if you have the spirit of god you will walk with god's timing not men's timing let me help you kuna wakati roho mtakatifu anaweza kukuhimiza jambo kwa roho anakuambia fanya hiki kitu ukienda ushe na mtu wa mwili hiyo mambo imeishi hapo ataanza kukupatia mahesabu anakuambia tumia kichwa how is this possible kuna mtu mmoja alikuwa ya mwili kwa bible elisha alisema kesho hapa kwa gate kutauzwa unga mzuri fine flour hapa kesho nasikizeni ilikuwa miaka tatu na nusu hakuna hata tone ya mvua kwa inchi sisi tunasema sahihi ya tukunajua kali na, na ni miezi mmoja mmoja tu samaria kulikuwa na miaka tatu na nusu hakuna mvua juu ya inchi na elisha anatokea mtu wa roho anatokea hapo anasema kesho hapa kwa geti mtu wa mwili alisema dugu hata kama Mungu anaweza fungua store ya unga ya biguni hiyo jambo haiwezekani Unajua mtu wa roho anakuwa na jibu alijibu alimwambia okay utaona lakini utakula Unajua kuna watu wanaonaka tu vitu zinatendeka hawakuli kwa sababu they are always doubters they don't believe na kweli aliona na we aliona unga ndiye ile na alikuja kuzuia watu bible inasema alikanyagwa hawakumkanyaga macho ndio aone alikanyagwa alikufia kwa gate akiona watu wakichukua unga watu ya mwili bwana sifiwe spiritual matters are spiritually discerned Let's go back to Romans as, as, as I come to close. Romans chapter 8 verse 26. We're looking at that. There's something stuck in quick skip in a sema we do not know. That only says we lack knowledge. We lack understanding. We have some deficiency in knowledge. Tuna upungufu wa kujua when it comes to matters prayers. Hosea anasema 46 my people perish for lack of knowledge. Ale, listen to me. Shetani atateka advantage ya kutojua kwako. Kila wakati unakuja katika maombi na kuna mambo hujui, atateka advantage of your ignorance, of your lack of knowledge. Sasa kazi ya Roho Mtakatifu huja kufunika nafasi ya ignorance so that usiombe ignorantly usiombe bila kufahamu Bwana Yesu asifiwe na you know it is possible to pray without accuracy it is possible kuomba amiss James 4:2 anasema mumeomba na hamjopokea kwa sababu mumeomba vibaya kuomba vibaya si kutumia maneno mabaya ni kuomba bila kuwa na roho mtakatifu amen Paul anawaombea wapendo wa Colossians chapter 1 verse 9 Colossians, Colossians chapter 1 verse 9 anasema for this reason the something umeweka hapo mas For this reason we also since the day we heard it do not cease to pray for you to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding Paul anaombea kanisa la Kolosa anawaambia I am praying that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in other words understand his will understand the will of God how do you understand the spirit of God will teach Vanessa if you the spirit of God will reveal the will of god to you romans chapter 12 verse 2 romans chapter 12 verse 2 romans of 2 in a sema and do not be conformed to this world 
but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God when I saw if you now listen kuna kitu nataka nikueleze hapa na nikusaidie so that uweze kuelewa how to pray with understanding Paul anashauri kanisa la Warumi anawaambia do not conform I wish you give me a, a version nasema to the standards I think in NIV nasema do not be conformed to the standards of this world musingiane na standards za dunia hii do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world but be transformed now this is this means the world has a pattern let me repeat that again dunia iko na pattern yake iko na standard yake iko na how it does its things sasa wewe ukija kama mkristo ukonform ukubaliane na pattern ya dunia hautaelewa the will of god when i was afraid now how do you get transformed bible inasema by renewing your mind by doing what renewing your mind when you renew your mind the bible says you will be able to know you will be able to test and approve what god's will is his good pleasing and perfect will now let me preach again ile 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 analogy nimetumia hapa every time unakuja in the presence of god huwa uko na desire i want to know the perfect will of god concerning a particular matter you can never understand if your mind is not renewed bwana yesu asifiwe ku renew mawazo nipatie hii simu yako thank you hii simu sijui ni ya nani but ako na screen saver ya ajabu sana huyu mtu ako na ako na maono kuna wakati simu huwa ina hang wakati simu zao zimewekwa hang salimia hivi kwa nini ni hang eh? talk to me nilifanya simu ihang mali ya Mungu imejaa vitu vitu ya 2012 bado uko naye kwa simu mali ya Mungu video ya christmas uko naye imechukua space for nothing okay ulifanya nini hiyo simu ulitupa what did you do will it delete will it delete some old files some old videos na mapicha ikusaidi na ma files na manini ukatoa 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 simu ikakwambia ni update uke okay, update ikafufuka wale mlikataa ku update mnajua vile simu zetu zilifanya kuna moja mtu fulani akakuwa hii baada siwezi kumtaja jina simu yake alikataa ku update ilianza kwenda mbio hivi 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 inapitisha contacts mbio 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 alafu kaona na hiyo ndio ilikuwa siku ya mwisho ya hiyo simu kuwa hai. Umoja pigiwa simu unajaribu ku receive unajaribu unajaribu unajaribu. Unazima unazima. Siku hizi siku hizi azitoroi battery unatoa battery unatoa. Hiyo kazi ni ya watu hawajui kutoa vitu haiwasaidii kwa maisha. When you come to prayer with the old files you will never receive the perfect will of god are you listening to me ukija kwa maombi na old files umebeba watu vitu hizo zinaitwa old files you will never understand you know there are people who come to prayer ako katikati ya maombi anakumbuka kitu fulani anakasirika na kwa maombi anakasirika anatoka anaenda anasema hiyo siwezi msamehe hiyo inaitwa old file 
if you cannot renew your mind, you will never understand the perfect will and pleasing will of God. Roho mtakatifu tusaidia ku offload kutoa old files kutoa mizigo umebeba unforgiveness bitterness anger nini unatoa when you come to prayer ukiomba maombi inafika bana sifiwe mwae kugundua wale watu wamebeba vitu kwa moyo hata wanakuwa sura mbaya look at their faces they are always gloomy and ugly they can never forgive but when you are, unajua hata ukitoa hizo vitu kwa simu mpaka unasikia hiyo simu imekuwa like do you know unaweza enda kutafuta namba ya mtu au party na iko kwa simu naongea vitu ya heaven ama hapa chini kwa sababu kuna vitu si za, za muhimu zimefunika zimefunika angalia mtu mwambie toa old files You can never understand God's will with old files. Glory to God. Roho mtakatifu hawezi kukusaidia kama hutaki kupitia process inaitwa renewing your mind process. Renewing your mind. Let me just stop there. But let me tell you something. Renewing your mind ni process ambao wewe mwenyewe utaamua i want to go through it hakuna mtu anaweza kukutolea ma old files kwa mawazo yako we cannot even pray for you ni wewe utakaa chini upitie file zako kama vile unaingia kwa simu yako unapitia gallery unaona hii picha haindisaidii unafuta hii file ilipitwa na wakati unafuta hii ni ya Christmas. Merry Christmas ni ya nini sahii? Tuko mwezi wa pili unatoa contact. Zile hata hujawahi pigiwa na upigaki unafuta. You make your phone lighter. Bwana asifiwe. You can never understand the will of God with old files. And I feel I'm speaking to someone katika ibada hii. Maombi yake imekuwa clogged. Kuwa clogged ni kama ku block. Vile unaendaa kwa pipe ya sewage ime block. Iki block inarudisha uchafu nyuma. Every time you come in the presence of God and you are clogged. Umekwama. You never understand the will of God. You will always be bitter. Thanks to the Holy Spirit. He helps us in the renewing process. Hey, can you see mama in the presence of God? Just be on your feet. I want us to make a prayer, a very personal prayer each one of us. Tell the Lord, Holy Spirit of God, I need you. I cannot understand the will of God. You are here to reveal the deep things of God. Kimbia na hii scripture 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9 he reveals the deep things of God can you begin to speak to him he is a person he can hear you yeye ni mtu anaweza kusikia can you have a fellowship with him kuwa na ushirika na yeye for a few minutes mwambie roho mtakatifu i want to have some time with you today holy spirit satodi dabala gatalido ratabada i confess my weakness i do not know what i should pray for but you holy spirit helps me in my weakness help me rom takatif i need to understand the perfect will of god reveal god to me reveal the deep insights the deep things of god zakita debala soladia reparozatida razatitabida zikatapadaya zulidaya sapokoshatida lezetetidado Zakara mashutada zelitada makata zakata nasikia roho mtakatifu anasaidia mtu hapa amempatia antidote amempatia kile ambacho anahitaji mwambie roho mtakatifu na kuhitaji wewe ndio unajua roho ya Mungu you know the will of God you know the things that are hidden from me 
begin to reveal them to me in the name of Jesus kuna vitu vimefichika katika maisha yako na ungetaka kujua what a moment to the spirit of god reveal them nifunulie roho mtakatifu the spirit of god is able to tell you your future he is able to tell you the kind of destiny that god has prepared for you he can only reveal it to you if you tell him roho mtakatifu bwana I need you holy spirit of god how i need you today i need you holy spirit fill my life fill me fill me today until i overflow my desire is that i overflow my desire is that i know the will of god lord i need you lord i need you Lord I need you. Lord I need you. Lord I need you. Lord I need you. Oh I need you. Yeah. I need you. My world defies Lift up your hands. I need you, Holy Spirit. I need you every hour. I need you. My world defense. My righteousness. Oh God, how I need you. Say, tell him once more. Lord, I need you. Lord, I need you. I need you I need you We all need the Holy Spirit of God. We all need him. Lift up your hands as I make this prayer for you. Holy Spirit of God, we need you. Hatuwezi kujua mapenzi ya Bwana kama huwezi kusunua kwetu. Neno lako lasema you search the deep things of God and reveal them to us. We desire to know things that eyes have never seen nor heard by any ear nor entered into any man's heart. Your word says mambo hayo umetuandalia by your spirit. We desire this week as we seek your face you will reveal them to us we bless and give you worship in jesus name we pray give jesus a celebration in the name of jesus amen 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 hallelujah under that grace i want us to give our offerings sometimes you give an offering as you respond to the word of god kuna wakati unatoa sadaka unasema roho mtakatifu kwa sababu ya hiyo ufunuo i am giving this sacrifice in the name of Jesus and I'm praying for you may you give revelation of sacrifices nataka utoe sadaka yako kwa jina la Yesu in the name of Jesus father we give you praise shika sadaka yako kwa mkono wako hold your offering in your hand kama unatoa na simu just prepare yourself pay bill iko kwa screen just hold it in your hand in the name of Jesus lord we give you praise speak to your offering for a minute in the name of Jesus father I give you glory Speak. Usinyamaze. Sadaka hiyo unataka kuletea Bwana. Nataka uizungumzie. I hope inakuzungumzia pia ya kwamba inakuambia this is the kind of sacrifice you are giving to God today. Lord, I give you praise. This is a way of worshiping you. Lord, as I stretch my hand to give to you today. You are faithful to your word. You are faithful to your word. I pray for multiplication. I pray for addition. In the name of Jesus, may doors open. In the name of Jesus may favor follow may grace abound in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Father we give you praise for offerings tunapotoa mbele zako siku ya leo tuwatangaza ya kwamba kutakuwa na multiplication kutakuwa na addition 
utakuwa na kupanuka katika jina la Yesu we declare a hedge of fire around our lives as we stretch our hands to give as we stretch our hands to give oh god as we place our sacrifices on your altar we pray that you may thunder back by your fire we bless you and we worship you in jesus name we pray